afternoon, another day, another rear wheel test. Today we're going to be doing it on the Pixel 4A5G. Um, I said afternoon because we're getting a late start to this video. I've kind of been working, editing another video all morning um, because it's Techtober and things are crazy and like every company is launching a product right now, so I have a lot of videos to do, but it's okay. But if you're not familiar, we're with Tesla's channel, so I'm going to go through my normal day and we'll check in on the battery to see how that's doing. I'll also take photos on this and some of its competitors, put them up on the screen so you guys can be the judge of how it does. Now, I also put my T-Mobile SIM card in here, which has 5G, so we can at least test that as well because you guys kind of asked for that. But let's check in on the battery because I have been using the device all morning. Um, it is 1.32 p.m. and we are at 79%. Coffee. Check. Um, real quick, let's talk about the look and feel of the 4A 5G. The phone is made out of the same polycarbonate that the 4A is, and honestly, I don't have a problem with that. I really liked it on the 4A, and I continue to like it here. It's got a nice, clean, minimalistic look that I really like, um, and we also have our fingerprint sensor that everybody likes here on the back, which is pretty convenient. Something that is interesting, though, about this phone compared to the 4A is the fact that the screen is actually much larger. It's a 6.2-inch screen instead of a 5.8, and it's actually a little bit larger than the Pixel 5's 6-inch screen. And that screen is an OLED display, and because of that, I can actually see it pretty well even in the daylight, which I appreciate. Okay, let's check in on the battery. Uh, it is now 3.10 p.m., and we are at 72%. Okay, let's talk about the cameras real quick. First off, we have dual cameras, and all of that talk about ultra-wide cameras being dumb. So while wide-angle can be fun, we think telephoto is more important. Seems to have been for nothing. We have an ultra-wide camera paired with our regular main camera that hasn't changed much even since the first Pixels. Improvements were made with better processors and software over time, basically. Now we lose the telephoto from the 4XL, and instead we use a digital zoom to get to two times and all the way up to seven times. Now while I'd love to start seeing triple cameras on Pixels in general, I kind of feel like this is the way for Google to go at least, at least for this device, to keep the cost down with less hardware, and their software is actually pretty decent at this type of stuff. If you can tell by the name, it's the Pixel 4a 5G. So we have 5G capability in the phone. Now the model I have, which is the unlocked version, only supports sub six, which is kind of the slower speed um, 5G, but it has a lot more coverage area compared to say millimeter wave, which is a lot faster and has those crazy speed tests you see on the internet, um, but, but much, much smaller coverage zones. Now you can actually get a millimeter wave version of this, but only on Verizon from Verizon. It's the Pixel 4a 5G ultra wide band or UW to differentiate it from the other models. Now, it does cost though $100 more than this model and that means it only costs $100 less than the Pixel 5. So, mm, something to think about. Regardless, I've been running around Brooklyn and just doing speed tests every now and then just to kind of see what it does. So here are the results from that so you can kind of see what speeds you could maybe expect. And while we're here, let's check in on the battery. It is 6.22 p.m. We are at 45%.
and are wandering into uh, what is called Transmitter Park. And it's actually kind of interesting because this park used to be a transmitter station. It was a, a radio tower, actually, for like the publicly owned WNYC Radio AM station um, from like 1935 all the way into like the 90s or so. And then not too long ago, in about like 2012, I think, they converted it just into a big green space just so that like the people of Greenpoint, the neighborhood that I'm in, um, had like a little, you know, space to kind of come hang out on the water. Okay, it was nice catching up with Fisher, but it is like threatening terrain, like dribbling and just, it's its coming. So uh, I need to get home pretty quick. That little lightning bolt means that this is an electric bike, which sounds great. Okay, I think we're gonna call it a night. It is 10, 17 p.m. and we are at 22%. Now here's my screen on time and my usage for anyone who's curious about that. And again, this was using 5G on T-Mobile all day, at least sub six. Um, it has a much larger battery than the 4A, which I already thought did a pretty good job. It's 3880 instead of 3140, I think. Um, and so that's, that's great. Now, also, if you're interested in the Pixel 5, that has the same chipset as this and has a little bit more battery, um, although a 90 hertz screen, so we'll see how that affects it, but it's promising for Pixel 5 potential users as well. Speaking of, if you're not subscribed already, uh, subscribe and ding the bell next to the word subscribe so you get notified when I do new videos. The next one or one coming soon will be the Pixel 5 once I get my hands on that because right now FedEx is holding it hostage long story. Otherwise, there you go. Hope you guys enjoyed that. Again, little vloggy kind of thing that I keep doing that you guys keep saying is good, but please let me know what you thought of this video in the comments below. Always love hearing from you guys. As always though, regardless, thanks for watching. Hey man, I just want a pina colada, man.